Fortune telling is now legal in Maryland. Who's killing all the babysitters? And good news for folks who are tired of all these mother effing snakes on this mother effing planet. It's all coming up on Weird Things TV. For this June 11th. 2010 version of the program. I'm Justin Robert Young, editor of WeirdThings.com. Do you like the new camera? I do. <laughs> Here's how things used to work in Montgomery County, Maryland. All right, you could tell your friend, you could say, Bill, you're gonna go down to the bar and you're gonna make out with a girl with weird teeth. Like, I don't mean regular weird or poorly kept weird. I mean oddly shaped like they're scimitars or you know they, they twist together like bramble vines and maybe a magic eye sort of vibe to it. And that could be right or that could be wrong. But if all of a sudden you wanted to go and make that a business of yours, you wanted to lease out a little spread in a strip mall and you wanted to have an espresso machine and bring people in and tell them their fortunes for money, uh-uh. That's what happened to a man in 2008 who applied for a business license and he was denied because fortune telling is illegal in Montgomery County, Maryland. Until yesterday when he brought a lawsuit when he was first denied and then an appeals court heard that case and said by free speech standards you are allowed to tell fortunes. So awesome. You can just hear the gypsy caravans moving into Maryland. Here's to you, you cold heartless sociopaths who sit in the shadows and terrorize our nation's babysitters. Yes, you murderers are the monster of the week, according to our research writer Matt Finley, who analyzed the babysitter urban legends to within an inch of their life, how it survived the digital divide, whether or not it's an insidious leftist feminist plot to keep the working woman down. The links are in the information of this video. By the way, quick uh, recommendation movie-wise, Matt also highly recommends Splice, so if you have time this weekend, go check it out, even if you think that Adrian Brody looks like Stick Stickly with a gigantic schnoz and can't act his way out of a paper bag. Uh, apparently the sci-fi ideas in there are pretty sweet, and it's well done, and the creature design is awesome, so go check it out. And there's a lot of banging. More banging than you'd think. Snakes! Why'd it have to be snakes? Oh wait, it doesn't? Because they're dying out at a rapid pace and scientists don't know why? Well, that was easy. According to a new study, eight species of snakes have lost 90% of their population, and no one knows why. It could be El Nino, it could be global warming, it could be a natural thinning of the herd. Nobody knows. I have my theories, but I want to hear yours. Go ahead and leave them in the comments. Who's killing all these goddamn snakes? I want to know. We're going to find out in the comments. Comment about it. I want to hear it. Why are all the snakes going away? I don't know. Maybe snake oil's coming back. Maybe we should get in the snake oil business. There's a surplus of it, apparently. We'll all go from town to town and sing and dance and shuck and jive, and one of you guys will be out in the audience and we'll all go, hey, uh, I could use a new back surgery. Well, no, sir. Come on up here and try my snake oil. Well, I guess I'll. <laughs> And then you're doing backflips and lifting up an elephant and punching a horse in the face. That'd be awesome. Cryptomundo is the best creature site on the internet. And part of the reason why is because they do post like the one I'm about to tell you about. In the northern regions of Japan, one of the northernmost islands, there's a legend that a race of hobbits lived before humans got to that land. Who were they? Why did they go away? Did one of them get a job on Fantasy Island? I don't know, but Cryptomundo tells you all about it. That link is right there in the comments. Great job to the folks at Demundo. And that about wraps it up for this edition of WeirdThings.com. If you want to read our Twitter, it is twitter.com slash weirdthingscom. Or if you want to read our website, it is weirdthings.com. Until next week, folks, I'm Justin Robert Young. Stay weird. Do you want to hear about a Canadian lake monster? Click here.